Hello, you Demi. I'm Shahzad Ahmed from Shakespeare.com, and welcome in lecture number twenty-one. Today, we are going to continue our product section, and uh, in the last lecture, you will learn how can you reuse your code. And now, what's going on? You are sending three fields without your image. So, by the way, these are the four fields with image. So, one, two, three. These are three fields you are sending from the HTML. And now go to your method. You are receiving three fields here. Before receiving, you are checking the admin is logged in or not, and you are validating these three fields. Once uh, after validating, you are uh, checking the product image, uh, which you are sending from the HTML because product image is also required. Okay, so after all the process. what you need you need to check the category for suppose before adding any product you need to check the product that product is already exist in your table inside your table or not so it's uh, your duty to validate your uh, form to validate your content from the from your uh, front end from back end and from also the database okay so i'm saying check product because we copied this code from the category so that's why product now what you need you are sending the associative array i am saying go to your model which is a model <laughs> mod admin so this is the model you are sending the associative array here so that's why you need to receive the associative array here okay i am saying just uh, i am using the catware method okay so it takes two parameter first of all the table name then second the associative array we are not going to check all the fields which you are sending from the controllers we are just checking the specific fields so that's why we are passing the associative array here okay so why i watch what i need to check i am saying where p name p name is this and i am saying where category id is the category id so i am checking the product name and the category id okay what is the table name the table name is products so here is go to your products make sure this is products okay i am saying return so this is the return type okay so now you are checking the product is also uh, exist or not if the product is also exist you are uh setting the error and you are redirecting to your new product okay so what you need you need to add the product so i'm saying add product okay so go to your model and i'm saying i'm receiving the associative array because i'm sending the associative array from the controller now i'm saying db and i'm saying insert it takes two parameter you know very well first of all the table name then associative array i'm passing the variable so this is the associative array which you are sending from the controller so that's why we are receiving here inside the model and we are passing to the method okay so this is the product name i'm saying return if the if you add your product successfully you are sending you are redirecting to this method with this message okay so go to your page refresh the page everything is working fine i'm saying uh, iphone and i'm saying the company is apple and i'm saying the phone is the category is phone okay so what i need i need to add the apple 
and uh, I'm submitting this button click the button so now you're saying we have successfully added your product so go to your product you are adding the company name image admin ID category P status and product name so what about the date so go to your code I'm saying now go to your product i'm saying this is dummy product and i'm saying dummy content i'm saying dummy and i'm saying dummy company and this is related with uh, phone categories and i'm adding this image added go to your table now refresh the table you can see it's looking fine because uh, it's my mistake so now you need to add the iphone because you have checked if the product is already exist or not i'm saying the iphone and uh, the cat uh, and the company name is apple and the phone is this now hit the button you can see it's saying the product is also exist why because the apple product with the category one is also exist so that's why it's saying the product is also exists so uh, in this way you can uh, reuse your code and you can reduce your time while coding it's your duty to reduce your time by copying the section which is required for your current scenario so i think this is enough for this thank you for watching